All right, y'all, MLB All-Star Week kicks off tomorrow night with the HBCU Swingman Classic. It's the second year for the league to include that game as part of All-Star festivities. Our Olivia Lee speaking with the team manager and former Ranger Mark McLemore on the significance of this. I hope I get a hit every time I go up to, <laughs> up to Bay, maybe even hit a home run. Michael Burrows is an outfielder on Prairie View A&M University's baseball team. Despite being a powerhouse on the field, as a player at an HBCU, he says he often doesn't get the same exposure as top players at other schools. We get overlooked uh, sometimes just because we're HBCUs, but we can also play with higher level baseball. It doesn't matter like what level it's on. I feel like, you know, we're, we're great baseball players too. On Friday night, Michael will get a chance to show off his skills on one of the biggest stages yet, the HBCU Swingman Classic. The game officially marks the start of MLB All-Star Week. One, two, three, yeah. The game showcases the top baseball players from Division I historically black colleges and universities across the country. The first HBCU Classic was held just last year in Seattle. For Major League Baseball and King Griffey Jr., uh, the Players Association and the Youth Development Foundation to partner on this initiative for these young men. Uh, it'll be a memorable experience uh, that they will take with them for the rest of their lives. Former Texas Ranger Mark McLemore knows the struggles of success in the world of professional baseball. The experience of coming up through the minor leagues and becoming a prospect, making it to the major leagues, those were fun and exciting times. They weren't all, it wasn't all great. It wasn't all, you know, roses. Time away from family on the road, setbacks, and even racism. I was 17 years old, first time away from home. Um, having a truckload of white kids chase me and a few other teammates home. Uh, that was my first experience with racism. Uh, it was. It was ugly. It was very scary. Now, Mac Lamore will get to share some of the lessons he's learned with young ball players like Michael. Mac Lamore is managing one of the HBCU teams. It's an honor for me to be able to be out there and watch these young kids try and work their way to the major leagues. Friday night, top MLB scouts and team GMs will be at Globe Life Field to catch their talent in action. It gives the kids an opportunity, kids from HBCUs, it gives them an opportunity to go out there and show their culture, really, what playing baseball at an HBCU is really like. And really for the fans, uh, the fans that aren't familiar with HBCU baseball, uh, letting them see it, letting them see, hey, these guys can play just like the kids at, you know, in the SEC or, you know, Power Five Conference or wherever. They are just as good. They just don't have the exposure. This year's HBCU Swingman Classic comes just months after the news that the MLB will now be including Negro League stats in their record books. Those we spoke to this week say they're excited that those former players will finally be recognized for their achievements. Tickets for Friday night's game, which kicks off right here at Globe Life Field at 7 p.m., are available at allstargame.com swingman. In Arlington, Olivia Leach, CBS News, Texas.